Hello everybody, welcome back to another new and noteworthy mod review. Today we're going to take a look at Universal Autoload. Not to be confused with Universal Autoload Specialization. But before that, this video is brought to you by Darren Cassell and Jeff Scott. Thank you for being far barons. So the Universal Autoload mod, in my opinion, could be the ultimate autoload mod for PC players. This is a mod for PC only. It does include scripts. And the reason I say that is you can literally pick up everything in one load that you see here before you. And all of the base game lap beds are already configured to work with this mod and to add this mod to additional trailers or vehicles takes about five minutes now i will have a link down in the description below to a video of a fellow member of my discord that did a how-to video on how to add universal autoload support to a custom trailer it's pretty straightforward. If you're familiar with Windows, with not Windows, but with Giants Editor, then you're going to be able to do this probably in about five minutes. If you're not familiar with Giants Editor, then probably your first time around, playing for about a half hour, and some of that is probably going to be trying to figure out how to navigate around the Giants Editor. But this mod includes support built in to add autoload to the Mahindra. John Deere Gator, both base game pickup trucks, the Brockman MHAL trailer, the Welger DK115 trailer in a bale trailer configuration, the Brantner DD24073-2 bale trailer configuration, the Flegel DTS 5.9 low loader, the Kroger PWO24 AgriLiner trailer. The Crone trailer, the side trailer. We have the Load King drop deck and the Demco drop deck trailer. All of those have support for auto load out of the gate. We also have auto load support for the FarmTech DPW 1800 trailer. All of those trailers are base game equipment, not mods. So out of the gate, you have support for several ways of transporting pallets, big bags, IBC tanks, bales, and the sort. Now let's see how this all works. So let's pull up the F1 menu. So we are connected to the DPW 1080. You can see we have some new options. Left shift R is going to auto load. Left shift I is going to be unload. U is going to allow us to switch unload left, unload right. Okay. Then we move into some other options. O says loading filter full only or any so it defaults to full only what this means is you pull up to production you've got a combination of pallets some are full one is still being filled you could tell it i only want to pick up the full ones and it's going to leave the one that's partially full there to fill up and you come by and pick it up later or you can tell it to fill all of them and then you'll just have a partial pallet. Then we take a look at container type, T. All means that it will basically pick up everything and anything it can onto the load. We can change it to Euro pallet, and now it's only going to pick up Euro pallet things. We change it to big bag pallet. It's only going to big, pick up big bag pallets. IBC tanks, well, you know what it's going to pick up. Big bags, you know what's going to pick up. Bales, right? 
you know what it's going to pick up or all now we go down to material type all means it will literally pick up everything that it can hold we could say well you know only pick up sugar cane or seed or wool or tree saplings or hay bales flour pallets bread pallets cake pallets butter pallets cheese pallets the list just keeps going on and on and it's dynamic based on what it is identifying in its pickup range. So let's do this. Left shift, R. Once it's loaded, it auto straps. But we're not done. Left shift, R. Now it's decided that it's full. We can come over here and we can do left side unloading, left shift I to unload. Boom. Maybe you want to pick up some bales. Okay, now that we're over here, we can see material type is only straw because that's all I have here. And if we go to container type, bale, that's all because that's all I have here. So left shift R. There you go. Now we have picked up our bales. I'm going to change the unload side to the right. U, left shift I. Boom, unloaded. How about round bales? Yeah, you know, we've had auto load bale trailers, right? But you had to get a bale trailer specifically for round bales, a bale trailer specifically for square bales. You've had to have a, a, a trailer specifically for pallet auto load look at that I've got round bales I've got square bales I've got them all picked up loading area is full so let's go on move on over here left shift I unload there you go that's simple now let's go try out some of these other options. So we have our Mahindra. And let's see here, left shift R. Okay. Didn't quite do what I expected because of the fact that this is a, uh, you know, it will unload if you put a box over that. So left shift I, and then we'll just unload our excess, right? Let's be a little bit more particular. All right, I want to grab Y. I want to grab fabric. There's fabric in here somewhere. I don't know where it is, but there's fabric in here somewhere. Let's grab it. There, we've grabbed it. Let's grab our honey. Left shift R. Boom. Grab our honey. Now we can transport our honey where we want it. Left shift I. Base game of Hendro. Look, let's go look. Right here, base game of Hendra. No configuration options. Just buy it. Auto load works. It just works. Isn't that what we want? We just want an auto load trailer that works. Right? So while we're continue to demonstrate some of this let's talk about some of the other auto load things that we have available to us so we have the auto load pallet specialization or the universal auto load specialization and that is a mod similar to this and that you have the auto load mods you have to install but then it doesn't do anything i don't remember to the base game 
pretty sure it only works with things that are modded to work with it. So let's grab the pallet of flour. Shift R. There. Now we have a pallet of flour. Shift I. Then we have the autoload trailers that work with specific types. Like you have a bale autoload trailer. You have a pallet autoload trailer. You have a square bale autoload trailer. So you end up having to own multiple trailers in order to get anything done. Right? Uh, let's pick up oils. Sunflower oil. Why? Canola oil. Why? Olive oil. Tomatoes. Let's get a little tall. Strawberries. Uh, too full. That's a little high. I'd be a little worried about that. Tip it over. Unload. Then we have what I would call auto fill. We have auto fill trailers. And an auto fill trailer is something that will allow you to take pallets, but it doesn't actually put the pallets on the trailer. Instead, it changes the appearance of the pallets into something else, typically crated products. And then it will allow you to then unload those. And typically it will then respawn the pallets that it has loaded. But I call those auto fill because they're not really, in my opinion, auto load from the standpoint that you're not really moving the pallet, literally the pallet from the ground to the trailer and then from the trailer to the ground. You're moving the fill type out of the pallet that's on the ground onto the trailer. And then when you unload the fill type back to the ground, it's moving it back into and spawning it back into a pallet. So we're picking up everything and anything. If you move, it puts up a warning saying you need to be stationary before you can finish picking up your products. So there you go. Take a look at that. We've got sugar, we've got furniture, we have feed, we have fertilizer, we have olive oil, we have some wheat, planks, raisins, liquid fertilizer, sunflower oil, we have hay, we have tomatoes, grape juice, canola oil, we have a bag of seed, we have fabric, chocolate, strawberries, and lettuce. All on a single trailer. Let's ship die. And where the, what I would say the auto fill trailers, where they sometimes run into issues is they sometimes run into issues where you are trying to pick up multiple fill types, right? We've seen that in mods, where if you have a little bit of one fill type, or maybe you have a multi-production, and you happen to have multiple types of pallets spawn, and you try to pick up one, but it goes and grabs another one, and then next thing you know, you're losing out product, and no one wants to lose out product, right? Let's take a look at another interesting trick this mod has up its sleeve. Okay, you notice I don't have the, I don't have the load option. Well, I have to open the curtain side. And now that the curtain side is open, I have auto load. If I close the curtain side, you'll see the auto load goes away. 
How about this? Let's open the uh, the back door. Maybe you like to use front loaders. Maybe you like to use a forklift. But you just aren't that great at stacking things on a trailer. So you'd rather have the stacking done by somebody else. But you want the uh, you want the you want the manual interaction of actually picking up pallets, right? Nothing wrong with that. But here I have some bread and cakes. I can bring this around to the rear of the trailer and watch what happens in the F1 menu. You may have already seen. <laughs> a little bit of a trick there. But it detects from the rear that I have a product and then it auto loads that product off of the forks when I get into it and automatically straps it down. So with this, I can do a little bit of, of role play, if you will, that I am, I'm loading the trailer manually because I like to do that, but I'm not so great at stacking the pallets, right? I can pick a pallet up, I can move a pallet around, but getting it stacked in the trailer isn't, isn't the easiest thing for me to do. So I can do it this way. Can you bring it up to the back? And it just uh, takes it. Just like that. So, guys, that is, in a nutshell, Universal Auto Load. Again, by Loki79. What I think just might be the best auto load option out there for PC players because quite honestly it just works fairly easy to add to a custom mod again there will be a link in the description to that video so go ahead and check that out and let me know what you all think down in the description below or down in the comments below as far as which, which auto load trailer and which auto load scripts do you use and which do you think are the best. And until next time, happy farming.